Hello, I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library, Program Assistant, and today on Know Your Local Species, we are going to learn more about the house centipede. Now, this thing to me is absolutely scary. It is so fast, has a million legs, it's very likely that you have run across some before and been frightened by this pest. They are slender insects with what appears to be hundreds of long thin legs bursting from all around their body. These insects move fast when spotted, searching for a safe place and run up walls and under furniture moving so fast. Do they have a head? Do they bite? What are they? These are questions that we are going to answer in this Know Your Local Species. They're commonly known as the house centipede. The first thing you need to do is relax. The only way the house centipede is dangerous, if you happen to be another insect, such as a bed bug, a cockroach, a spider, a termite, a silverfish, or another pest. In fact, what you have there is a tiny exterminator that can help get rid of other pests. It's funny, I don't see them that way. I just find them terribly creepy. House centipedes like cool, damp environments found in places such as your basement. House centipedes look scary, but the facts about them are not scary. The first thing you notice about a house centipede is it has a lot of legs. The very name, centipede, hints at that since centi means hundred, although it looks like it has a hundred legs. The fact is, the house centipede has 15 pairs of legs. Well, in comparison to a human, that's a lot of legs. It has two very long antennae on its head and two long appendages on its rear end. Most house centipedes are a yellowish gray and have stripes down the length of their body and across their legs too. There are several reasons for all those legs. First, it happens to make the house centipede very fast. Since they are both predators and prey, this helps out a lot. They can travel 1.3 feet per second, which means they can usually get away from predators and easily catch up to their intended meal. Second, those appendages, both fore and aft, mean it is hard to tell which end is front, which actually deters predators. Two of the house centipede's legs, located right near the head and near the mouth, have been modified to carry venom. Technically, this means that the house centipedes sting their prey rather than bite. Their venom is potent for small insects such as a silverfish or a termite. They are also capable of holding multiple prey in their legs and if they get any in their legs caught, they can just break them off and scurry away. They seek out their intended prey and either use those legs to jump on the intended prey or wrap them around it in a technique that experts have called lassoing. Some observers have even noticed house centipedes using their legs to beat prey into submission. House centipedes are nighttime hunters mostly. As you can see from their head, they have two very well-developed eyes. Foreign insects have pretty decent vision Despite this, it's those long antennae that they use primarily for hunting. House centipedes antenna are so sensitive that they can pick up smells as well as vibration and other tactile sensations. It's like combining your fingers with your nose. They're also very smart hunters. House centipedes are more than willing to go after prey that could actually be dangerous to them, such as a wasp. However, they have been seen in the wild and in laboratory, sneaking up on those types of insects, stinging them, using their legs to get away, and then waiting for the venom to take effect before moving in to feed. Now you may wonder why they are in your house. House centipedes, it is believed, started in the Mediterranean. They prefer warm, tropical, humid climates. They have proven to be, however, remarkably adaptable, capable of surviving in virtually any climate. However, if you live in the area of the world that gets harsh winters, you are more likely to find them in your home because that's a nice warm place where it's likely to have access to lots of food. Their eyes are very sensitive to light, 
so more than likely you will find them hiding during the day. For homeowners, you are more likely to see a house centipede in your basement, bathrooms and other areas that get wet and humid. It is also entirely possible for your average house centipede to live its entire life on the bottom floor of a building eating insects and living life undisturbed. While it is possible that one might bite a person, more than likely it would take picking up a house centipede and handling it. They would much rather reserve their venom for food than for humans. If someone is bitten, more than likely it will just cause a reddish bump. People who are especially sensitive to bee stings and other insect stings may need to see a doctor. Of course, house centipedes can become a nuisance, like many pests. If you live in cities and noticing a lot of house centipedes in your home, then you may also have an underlying problem with other pests. There's a reason they want to be in your home, and it's probably to feed. In this case, you may want to call an exterminator or ask for professional help. I hope you have enjoyed this Know Your Local Species, and I hope a house centipede doesn't scare you in the near future. Bye for now.